Hi there, my name is Kaylee, and this lesson is all about the different states matter takes. Let's get going. In the lesson, What is Matter?, we learned that materials that are solids, liquids, or gases are made out of matter. And matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms and molecules. Matter can exist in different states. We will study the main three, solid, liquid, and gas. Solids are made up of matter with a specific shape and volume. We know they are solids because they hold their shape regardless of what type of container we put them in. Solids act the way they do because the atoms and molecules that make up their matter are held tightly in place. They can barely move. Liquids are made up of matter with a specific volume, but no specific shape. We know they are liquids because they can flow and they will take the shape of any container. Liquids are able to flow and change their shape because their atoms and molecules are not fixed. They can slide past each other. Gases are made up of matter with no specific volume or shape. Gases will take up as much space as they can, filling any container. Gases are able to change their shape and their volume because their atoms and molecules move freely and quickly. We can change the state that matter is in. This is called a transition. A transition is when a substance changes from one state to another, like a chocolate bar turning into a chocolate puddle if left out in the sun. There are four types of transitions. The first one we will talk about is melting. Melting happens when heat is applied to a solid and it transitions to a liquid. Like icicles, which are made of solid ice, melting into liquid water as the day warms up. The next transition is freezing. Freezing happens when extremely cold temperatures are applied to a liquid and it transitions to a solid. As you can see here, this liquid soap bubble becomes a solid in the freezing temperatures. Evaporation is another transition. Evaporation happens when heat is applied to a liquid and it transitions to a gas. The broth in the soup evaporates into steam when put on the stove to boil. It's important to mention though that you can't actually see the steam. Condensation is the last transition. Condensation happens when cold temperatures are applied to a gas and it transitions to a liquid. Condensation happens when clouds full of water vapor are cooled to their dew point and produce rain. Now that we know about the four transitions, let's see what the particles look like in each state. Let's jump into a FET game. Here we are in the FET game called States of Matter Basics, and we're in the first game called States. Just to show you around, here's our container. Here's our atoms or molecules. You can choose of these different atoms or molecules over here. And then we also have a heat lever here that I can drag this blue bar up to make it um, warmer or down to make it colder. And then I can also choose one of these here to automatically put the temperature um, that would make my atoms be in the state of solid, liquid, or gas. So let's just play around with this neon atom. We, can, we know that it's an atom and not a molecule because it's just one. They're not bonded together. So I'm going to click on the solid button just to get started. So here we have a solid. They keep their shape and they have consistent volume. So what happens to a solid if I add some heat? So if I raise up my bar and I warm it up, what does it look like happened? They're moving around more, they're taking up more space. Overall, it looks like they're kind of taking up the shape on the bottom here. This would give me the impression that I've 
melted my solid neon into a liquid with a few particles that are acting like a gas. Now what if I click on the liquid? So this is what neon would look like as a liquid. So either I can heat my liquid and it would evaporate into a gas or I can make it colder and freeze my liquid into a solid. Let's see what happens if I cool it. So if I add some ice, so now I'm doing my freezing So it looks like now they're all stuck in this new weird shape. Now what happened if I had neon gas? Click the gas here. My temperature is the highest here. It looks like they're really moving around. So for my gas now, what happens if I cool my gas? This is like the rain example. I'm bringing the neon temperature down and the gas will transition back into a liquid or condensate. So it looks like they're kind of starting to fall back down. I'll release my heat here. And there they are all down at the bottom now. And if I give them a little extra heat, nice liquid neon. Great, so now you get to try on your own. You should try it out with argon uh, atom, an oxygen molecule, O2, or water, H2O. Great job studying the different states of matter for different substances. You can also watch our video called States of Water to learn more about the transitions of the H2O molecule. Have fun trying out the FET simulation on your own and doing the at-home lab. And remember to always be clever.